What is going on YouTube, Lamont at large. Today I am coming to you from St. Charles Cemetery here in Long Island, New York. And I'm here to visit the grave of one Mary Ann Ganser. If you don't know who she is, she was a singer in the singing group, the Shangri-Las. If you don't know who the Shangri-Las are, uh, they had quite a few hits in the early mid 60s. Wishing well, hate to say I told you so, I can never go home. Remember, and most of you are gonna know them from their 1964 hit, Leader of the Pack. The leader of the pack, you can remember that song. You remember the glass bottles breaking and the motorcycle engines revving on that song. So originally this group was consisted of four teenagers. You had twins, Mary Ann and Margaret Ganser, and then you had sisters, Betty and Mary Weiss. Uh, Mary was the lead singer of the group and they formed together in 1963, out of Queens, New York, uh, they were going to talent shows, uh, teen hops, and of course they got the attention of a couple of record producers, uh, and the rest is a proverbial history. Uh, now, they had immense success in the 60s. Uh, they sold millions of records. Uh, they toured all over the world. They toured with the likes of the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, the Drifters, and they also toured with James Brown. One of the White sisters said that when they met James Brown, he was surprised that they were white, which was pretty hilarious. So they toured, sold millions of records. Here's a, here's a fun fact, one of their earlier hits there was a session musician, a man, I don't know if anybody out there has ever heard of, but he played on their, one of their songs, uh, a man by the name of uh, Billy Joel. Hopefully that man made something out of himself in the music industry. So they would often come and go, like what, some of the singers in the group would leave so they would become a trio and then another girl would come back and another girl would leave so there was some uh instability uh you know the grind of performing night in and night out and traveling all over the country and all over the world i'm sure it can get to you here's another fun fact uh, if you're ever on tiktok and you hear that song uh well just know that that song is actually a Shangri-La song, Remember. They got that from this. I am always full of fun facts, or at least I tried. Anyways, um, just because they got tired of, I guess, being ripped off, splitting the money four ways, even though, like I said earlier, they sold billions of records, they weren't getting their due diligence. They permanently disbanded in 1968 here's also another fun fact uh, when they first signed their record deal in 1963 they didn't even have a name they were just they shrugged their shoulders and said i don't know so they named themselves the shangri-las after a restaurant in queens that they like to go eat at pretty uh, fun facts uh over here and sadly on March 22nd, 1970, Mary Ann Ganser died of a drug overdose. And uh, her sister, Margaret, uh, went to live on another 25 some odd years. And she unfortunately passed away in 1996 because of breast cancer. Uh, the other sisters, the Y sisters, uh, they went on to lead a pretty productive, normal lives. Uh, Betty, I believe, is a homemaker. She lives somewhere on Long Island. And uh, Mary got a job as a secretary after she left the group and uh, went on to work her way up for an architectural firm and uh, later became an interior designer. So she was uh, quite a successful woman in her own right. And here is the final resting place of Mary Ann Ganser, 
February 4th, 1948 to March 16th, 1970. So I got the date mixed up. And I'm going to guess that could possibly be her older brother, Robert Ganser. I do not know. I'm not sure. But just uh, a small piece of uh, music history. You know, if you were a teenager in the 60s, you definitely know who, who this woman was along with her sister and her friends, the Shangri-Las. So rest in peace to the Gansers. Okay, guys, I am Lamont at large. I'll catch up with you on the next episode. Peace out.